Hmm. There comes a time in every person's life when they have to make a decision. Am I man or am I virgin? A playing card is selected. In this case, the nine of diamonds. That card is lost in the middle of the deck, never to be seen ever again by human eyes. The deck is then shuffled thoroughly. The participant is asked to name their card. They say nine of diamonds and you go, wonderful. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. I know a lot about you, like why you're watching this ad. And it's specifically because you've looked up magic tricks. Well, hey there, my name's Pitcake and I've been doing magic trick tutorials on YouTube for the better part of six years. And I'm here to tell you about the Pitcake Magic Academy with over 1200 videos already uploaded, designed to make you an expert magician. You get access to all the content the moment you sign up and I'm uploading every single week. As a matter of fact, I uploaded a video today. Just look at that list of moves, tricks, ideas that you're gonna get access to the moment you sign up. It doesn't end. As a matter of fact, I could stop talking completely and the list is still gonna keep going. Just look. So check it out, the Pig Cake Magic Academy. The link is gonna be below. I go with you, but I'm stuck in this video. But I'll wait for you to go ahead and click it. Go ahead, you know you want to. So this is a card production. A card production from a riffle shuffle and waterfall flourish. See, you've merely come across the virginity. I, I was born in it. While it's a fairly easy move to learn, it's still gonna be quite knacky to get consistently. So let's get into what you're gonna need in order to drop this bad boy, this hot load on your next participant. You might be thinking, whoa, that's a really wrinkly shirt. But no, that's that's the style. That's the style now. You know how people used to sag their pants? Well, I'm wrinkling my shirt. You're gonna have a card selected and controlled to the top of the deck. You can do whatever method you want. My preference is putting my pinky in there putting my pinky in there and allowing that card to be held by my pinky. This is known as a pinky break technique. All that needs to happen now is you need to cut this card right here to the top of the deck. There are a billion ways to do this. You could do a double undercut. You see that where I come in with my thumb, take up the break, the burden of the break, and now cut half the deck to the top and then cut the rest of the cards below the break to the top. You see what that does? that brings their card directly to the top of the deck. Another one of my favorite techniques is just grabbing all the cards above the break and shuffling them to the bottom of the deck, just like this. It looks like an innocent shuffle, really their card is on top. Now at some point you are gonna turn the deck around and do a riffle shuffle. Now this is gonna be difficult to do in the air if you're not familiar with shuffling playing cards. Some people like to shuffle the cards underneath. You need to get the virginity sufficient enough so you can shuffle the cards in the air and do a waterfall. Now here is the actual technique for this particular production. You're gonna riffle shuffle the cards. However, you're going to allow the cards in your left hand to fall first. Now keep in mind, if you are riffle shuffling the cards in a normal way, the cards that are in your left hand are now gonna contain the card that the participant picked all the way in the back. So you wanna let a couple of those cards go first and then you're gonna shuffle the rest of the deck. Now as you waterfall the cards, what's gonna happen is that you're going to use your middle finger to bring this card, which is the participant's card, and pull it to the right away from the deck. You want it to be underneath the fingers of your left hand. So you're gonna bring the cards in like the normal waterfall. However, that card is actually going underneath the fingers of your left hand. Now it is possible to do this technique without resorting to this, but it makes it a lot easier. So when you finish the shuffle, you're in this position. Now all that's gonna happen is I'm gonna use these fingertips of my right hand to move this card and snap it in this direction. My middle finger is straightening at the same time that my forefinger is curling in. From the top, it just looks like the card shoots out of the deck. But under the deck, this is all that's happening. Now it is possible if you want, you could do the actual shuffle without transferring the cards. And now when the cards are in this position and I've completed a waterfall, all I have to do is pull my fingertips of the right hand to the right bring that card underneath the fingertips, and now I'm gonna be in a position to do the actual production itself. So what that avoids is that avoids this movement 
in the beginning when you are actually riffle shuffling the cards. And this adjustment could be covered as the participant is being asked what their card is and the fingertips are being placed under the card, the participant names the card, and then you shoot it out of the deck. So if you want, you could go through the trouble of putting the card face up on the top of the deck, maybe doing a half pass. So when you do the actual technique itself and you produce the card, it's being produced with a face down deck. That's up to you. It takes a little bit more work, but you're up for that virginity. So that's an easy and fun production. I don't know how to end this video in a way that's gonna be satisfactory. Usually I like to end it with some bit of advice, some tips, some things you guys could take beyond the card tricks. Uh, sh shoes, shoes are important. Cleaning your shoes are also very important. Uh, I like to clean my shoes a lot to the point where it almost looks ridiculous because I get this whitening product and I whiten my shoe. And uh, in this case, you could tell that they have brown tips, but because of the whitening agent, uh, I've become white, right? So it's a good lesson that my grandmother taught me. She said, hey, always clean your shoes because then you're always gonna have clean shoes. Uh, she's dead now, so you could see where that advice took her. But I'm gonna carry on her advice and pass it on hopefully to some offspring when I manage to convince some desperate broad that my semen is worthwhile. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again.